We are doing 40 hours in Milan. We're here for a photo shoot, so uh, we've literally just come to sort of the high-end shops, um, so we're going to have a look around today. Come with me and let's do some shopping. It's the eyebrows and I got my eyebrows waxed up. <laughs> <coughs> Got my, my hair done the other day. Who are you wearing, Tommy? Good. <laughs> Friday after the shoot, we'll come back. Yeah. See, I'm very, you're not going to see me eating a load of uh, junk food today because we have a shoot, a very important shoot that you're all going to know about real soon. Tomorrow, so I'm doing no carbs today, I'm cutting my water, so unfortunately, that's gonna have to take a back step. But we are coming back here after Friday. So. That's a naughty old school vest, that. Hey? It's a naughty old school vest. That's, that's like 70s, isn't it? I was just contemplating getting one of them. They don't show off the traps enough. Don't show off the traps. Show me. Hey? Show me. Show me. Traps? Oh, they don't show off um, this bit very well. So you gotta make sure when you get a vest, you have to get this thin. If not, it's quite trading traps. I can have a, it's like having a Lamborghini and keep it in the garage, isn't it? Why just throw traps underneath that? Too thick. What are you comparing your traps to, Lamborghini? Eh? What's that? <laughs> are you comparing your traps to Lamborghini? Possibly. They're not that good. Medium must hit me, wouldn't it? I'm doing it, it's pretty big. Yeah? It won't fit with it. I need an espresso. I need an espresso. Bro, it's all in Italian. I'm, I'm, I'm standing looking at the menu, I can't read Italian. Can you see anywhere it says steak on that? Huh? Maybe, maybe look at the one that's in English. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You, you do steak? What drink? Steak. Pictures even better. Yeah, oh, there you go. Bro. Perfect, yeah, we're jumping here, eh? Yeah. Steak, yeah, perfect. You fancy it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Perfect. Oh, wow. Sadly, because of the shoe, I'm not going to be able to eat any pizza, no pasta, or cheese, so quite annoyed about that. It's going to be a steak, or possibly some salmon. Look, I'm not going to eat a pizza. Or pasta. Flip that. Or risotto. Flip that. Steak. Being away from the family, it's um, it is crazy because obviously before Bambi, you know, me and Molly would go away for work, we'd go on different different things, but then you know as soon as you have you know children, you just want to be at home with them all the time, so it's you do, I do miss her an awful lot, and it's, I'm literally only away for two, three days. But I just want to be about half an hour, it's a crazy feeling. People who have kids will know that feeling. Got a busy few things coming up. I've got a soccer aid in June. I've got, I've had a lot of birthdays this month. Um, my birthday, Molly's birthday, Auntie's birthday, Dad's birthday. So that's been a hectic month. Um, obviously we're here now for the shoot. What else have we got coming up? We've got another shoot next week. Um, been quite, yeah, we've got a shoot with the Sunday Times next week, um, so that should be good. Busy, busy, isn't it? Yeah. Soccer is going to be funny because I can't play a blade of football. I don't even know what the offside rule is, so that's that should be fun. So we'll see. Everybody tune in. So guys, we're going to go in the massive cathedral now. We're going to check that out. For you that don't know, I am um, quite religious. You know, I always pray, I always say a prayer before my fights. You know, I talk to God every day in my own mind. So it'd be nice to go in there, say a little prayer, maybe light a candle if that's an option. But it is definitely an amazing, amazing cathedral. So uh, we're going to check that out. And then what we're doing, highlight of the day, there is a gold gym around the corner from here. So everybody that knows me, you know, I like bodybuilding. So we're going to go in there, we're going to bang some arms out, grab a sauna and get ready for dinner tonight, so that is the plan.
you're oh. seen as the guy that can, can end it all. How feel about that? Have. Have ended all. Yeah, basically. The, the way I see it is like a pie. So one side of it being Jake Paul, and the other side of it being KSI. I've already ate one half of the pie, swallowed the shit out. And that's why he's now fighting 40 year old man. So now all I have to do is eat the other pie. And guess what? The pie is no longer there. Oh. That's what I intend on doing this year. I will eat the rest of the pie. I just think that pie's going to taste. Disgusting. But it's, got to be, it's going to be sweet at the end when we get to the sweet part. It's going to be nice, isn't it? Like, just shutting all these people up that's been rambling on for years about being fighters and about being about it and being this and that. But then, you know, they fought one person that could actually fight a bit. And it's all going out the window. But like I say, the sport that will probably never die because. You know, they just keep fighting all different people, don't they? Like, it's YouTubers. Well, it's, it's entertainment. You know, when they when they switch yeah. the show, like, that's what they're good at. It's an entertainment show. Whereas, Whereas you know, what, the boxing world that you're in is a yeah. professional boxing capacity. That's not. But it, it'll probably never end. Like, it, 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 fighting professional boxers, that'll end. Yeah, that will end. Yeah. But, but they'll fight each other. Yeah, it'll probably never end. Yeah. 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 But it's enjoyable though. If you're watching it as a fan, like, you can understand why yeah. it's enjoyable. It's like yeah. WWE, isn't it? It's like they cross over. Basically, that. yeah. It, it makes sense because it sells tickets and they get yeah. people interested. As far as I don't know how in the middle in this realm, like because they all thought they'd have a this one. very quickly regret it, and the other one will very quickly regret it as well. Yeah, it will. You know, the funny part is, right? KSI, the build up to all this, he's going to keep talking and talking just like the other one did. And the same thing's going to happen. No, not, it's not the same thing. You'll be on the floor because Jake Paul's a little bit more reserved, didn't really throw that much. Right, this KSI, he just gung ho, wild, no head movement. You can't do that against the proper fighter, you can't do it. I think Arif doesn't use an elbow on you though. Put it in the contract, no elbows. <laughs> what do you think it will be? I don't know, it's these two, uh, he gets his crap together and uh, send the contract over. So he does that, I'm going to stay here in my lap, I think. <laughs>